Hi everyone, my name is Pierre Marcel. I'm a senior technical architect. I help organize and run the AI Drupal Toronto group. Today we are here to, for a quick video tutorial on how to get the Drupal CMS, aka Starshot, installed on your computer. If you would like to join our, our group, uh, please follow us on LinkedIn. There you will find uh, uh, links to our meetup.com where we post our events and also our Slack channel where you can chat with our members. If you have any difficulty, any challenges or anything installing the Drupal CMS, please reach out to me uh, on LinkedIn or on our Slack channel. So today, basically, we are going to go through uh, how to install uh, the Drupal CMS. So before we can actually run it, there is a few requirements. So we need to have uh, DDAV. Well, you can use other systems, but DDAV is the easiest one because they have the recipe inside uh, the installation when we, we, we download. Okay, so I'm going to go through that. So also, I'm going to go through uh, how to find uh, the Drupal CMS. Uh, code base and then of course how to install so shall we start okay so basically you go into the drupal.org page now with the new design beautiful site so we go into downloads and then download so now you will see drupal core and the drupal cms so drupal cms as you know it's the no to low low code no code to low code uh, Drupal CMS. So this is where you will be finding all the information about it. So in here you can read uh, about the initiative and what we are doing and everything. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, one of the requirements uh, to get installed easy, you would be using DDAV. So if you don't have DDAV installed on your machine, please follow the tutorials in here, how to get that installed. It's very easy. If you're on a Mac, I would totally recommend to use uh, Homebrew. That's the easiest way to install and update as it needs. Uh, on a Windows, Linux is all supported, so it's super easy for you. I'm not going to go through the dev installation, but you will find lots of tutorials and also just follow here. I'll put a link into the description or in my blog posts. Okay, awesome. So let's get back to the Drupal CMS. Where can I find the code base of this Drupal CMS, aka Starshot? So uh, it's under the project. Uh, page. So projects forward slash Drupal underscore CMS. So in here, you will find that typical Drupal uh, project page. So there are two ways to get to the code base. So one is you can click in here, instructions to clone this repository. And also you can go to the source. So let me open up both of them. So here's the code base. So basically at this moment we have uh, uh, the tag RC2. So I'm not going to be installing the RC2. I'm going to be installing the, the current development uh, 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 branch, which is the dev branch. Okay. So basically in this page, as you click instruction to clone this repository, you will find uh, basically the steps how you can do. So let's get this here and clone. So basically it's just copying the git URL and then cloning it. So let's go into, so you go into your sites folder or whatever you want it, wherever you want it to install uh, the Drupal CMS. So there we have, so let's git clone and it's super fast. So let's CD into Drupal underscore CMS, and there you have. So here you have uh, uh, comes with uh, these files to get started. So basically, at this point, it's super easy. All we need to do is to run ddev start and let it run. So let me do that. Ddev start. So it will take about 
about a minute, uh, depending on your speed, it's going to be downloading all the com uh, through Composer all the, the files and everything that needs, sometimes super fast, uh, but it is, it's 30 seconds to a minute. So I will click it in here and then I'll, we will get right back to it. Hi, okay, we're back in here. So it took about a minute and 34 seconds. So that's not bad. Uh, quite fast. So basically, it's the normal installation, the Drupal normal installation, pulling all the the modules and all the dependencies, packages, and everything that we need. Okay. So once you done this, you will notice that now we have your project is in here. So let's go and open uh, that project. So now we have. So what do you have in here? So here is the Drupal core installation, that regular installation that we are uh, used to see. So basically here, what you see here now are the recipes, the recipes that are available uh, for us to install. You can skip this step or you can install all of them. I would recommend to install all of them because you're testing. So I would get them all in here. Okay. So let's click it in here. And this is just the normal UI uh, setup for the Drupal CMS. Okay. So we'll click in here. There we go. And then put our password. And then we install. Uh, this is fairly easy, is that normal installation. So basically, creating our tables and everything. Okay, we're back in here. So it takes about 30 seconds to get that installed. So once you installed, you're going to this welcome uh, dashboard. What you see here is recent content. So they do have a default content uh, so people can get uh, started with it. So let's have a look on the extend and then see what is in there. So now you see different UI. So let's go into recipes. So recipes are where you're going to see, let me get in here. Let me open up DDEV and I'd like to bring, not DDEV, uh, VS, and I'd like to show in here. So. Inside our project, we have now the recipes folder, and this is where our recipes will be. So Martin will be doing an amazing uh, talk on recipes on uh, January 15th, 2025. So we'll be posting online uh, as well. Uh, he will be explaining how to install, what it is, how to do, how to create them, and it's just fantastic. So as you can see, we have uh, many recipes in here. If you see a recipe that is inside uh, this folder, but you don't see to install, it's because it's not ready yet, it's experimental, and you need to use a Drash command to install. So it's basically uh, ddev Drash recipes and then the name of the recipe, and that will install. Okay, so let's go back in here. So in here, we have now 12 recipes. If you're doing the RC2, I believe they're limited now to six over there. So, and this video is released uh, just before January 15th, which means that uh, before the full launch, the full release. So I'm using the dev version, which will become uh, after uh, in a couple of days, uh, the full version. So here you can see our, uh, the recipes available and then you'll be able to install from here and everything. So for example, we can install the AI uh, recipe. So I will be linking a, uh, a I'll, I'll link a, a video from Aiden Foster, uh, which is, he helps uh, and also is one of the organizers of AI Drupal Toronto, and he has a great tutorial on how to install, how to set up this year and the API key and everything. So this is awesome. So here's a, that's how we install. It's 
super easy. Uh, install that you will need for our guided session where we, going to, we are going to be uh, doing training hands-on on the Drupal CMS. So super exciting week. I hope to see you uh, in Toronto at Spadina at the CSI Spadina on January 15th, 2025 uh, for this, for our global launch party. Thank you very much. I'll see you there.